Welcome back to part seven of setting up the Power Platform Center of Excellence. In this video, we're going to be discussing how to add into our Center of Excellence the governance components. Now, a prerequisite to this or something that you'll certainly want to do ahead of time is to ensure that the approval tables are available within your Dataverse Environments database. And we can see evidence of this by the fact that if we come into our center of excellence environment, we've selected solutions in the left hand navigation and we can see Microsoft Flow Approvals Core Solution and Microsoft Flow Approvals. If you don't have that, what you need to do is just create a simple flow, which you can delete afterwards, that makes use of an approval action, run that flow, and that will initialize kick off the process you can actually see it running by coming into solutions history and there will actually be let's see if i can find it if i search for approval you, you can see here where we've got the approvals and the approves core and it's imported both of those solutions and with those successes when we're in solutions, that's where we see those two solutions. The next step is to imp import the governance component solution. So we're in the right place at the moment, so we'll stay here. And then across the top, we're going to select import solution. We're going to browse. We're going to expand our COE starter kit zip file or, or the extracted version. and basically we're going to look for the solution zip file that's named center of excellence audit components underscore version number underscore managed dot zip we'll then click next after a short while we'll click next again and here it's now going to want to ensure that we have suitable connections for the various connectors that are used throughout the solution that we're importing. So just because of how far we've come in this environment already, for the bulk of these connectors, we do have a suitable connection and there aren't any gaps. So we'll just continue. If there wasn't an, an available connection or not the connection you were after, you would just click new connection. It's gonna take you to the same place as if you expanded Dataverse in the left hand navigation and went to connections so you could absolutely do it that way ahead of time but go there it should be handy and kind of load up as if you've gone to dataverse connections found it and then gone to authenticate it specify a suitable account once you've got the connection come back here you'll have a be prompted to refresh refresh and it should automatically infill the connections we're now going to click next here we're being asked to specify a couple of environment variables so for the first variable it's asking for and it does say it's optional url to the clean up old objects app canvas app so i'm just going to duplicate the tab that we're on once it's duplicated i'm going to click on apps in the left hand navigation And I'm going to see if such an app exists at the moment. So let's just have a quick look. I think it's still taking a while to load. So access this app, command center, permissions. With some of these, you don't necessarily, they might have changed the name or since an update or you've you've yet to import a solution that contains them. So I think I'll leave this blank for now. However, what we will populate is where we've got flow approvals URL. So link to the COE envir environment approval page. So reading between the lines without checking the documentation, that makes me want to go to, so if we go to flow.microsoft.com, 
powerautomate.microsoft.com, either would work. And then you can see in the left-hand navigation, we've got approvals. So I'm going to assume it is this one, although we're currently on received. I'm not sure if it, if it would be better off, uh, but we'll, we'll go with this one. Although what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to see if I can just hit it about the received and if it just defaults to received. So as if it does, it's the same difference. No, so it does want to be received. So we'll go, go to that for now, but when we come to work our way through using it, if, if there are any discrepancies in the specified environment variables, we can just go into the admin command center app and update it accordingly. But remembering that if the flow, if there's flows that are making use of the environment variables, the flow realistically will need to be like turned on, off and on again for it to pick up the new updated environment variable. So once we're happy with this, we're going to click on import and we'll give it a moment to import. I'm going to pause here. So this may take a while, but it it, it will seem as if it's happened straight away. Now that the solution is successfully imported, we're going to click on the new imported solution. So Center of Excellence Governance Components. And the remaining step is to turn on three cloud flows in a particular sequence. And these are all prefixed with helper. One thing I am going to check is I just want to see the apps that come along with this solution. And I believe this clean up old objects app was the one of the environment variables. So I'm just going to go to details. I'm going to copy the URL. I'm going to come back on over into our core component solution. I'm then going to click on apps in the left hand navigation. I'm going to play the admin command center app. Once this is loaded in the navigation menu on the left, I'm going to click setup. And I'm going to search for old. Clean up old objects app URL and I'm going to enter that value that we've just copied, paste it, save it. Now coming back, we're going to go back to our solutions, come back into our governance components solution, click on cloud flows in the left hand navigation. And we're looking for three flows that are prefixed with helper and end in gov. So we've got Canvas, App Operations, App Operations, sorry, Canvas App Operations, Cloudflow Operations and Object Operations. According to the documentation, we want to turn this one on first, the Flow one, which is already on. Then it would be the Canvas App Operations, which is on, and then the Object Operations, which is off. So we'll turn this one on. And we'll just wait to ensure that it does successfully turn on. And it has. So that, in, in a nutshell, in terms of the implementation, that covers off setting up the governance components. In the next video, we'll discuss setting up compliance processes. Thank you for watching.